Bonjour tous les petits ultimateguitaristes.com Aujourd'hui, nous allons jouer la guitare. Et ceux-ci sont des pantoufles. Well, howdy there. What I just said was French, and that basically means good day, Eugene. I added a couple of nuances to it, uh, but I don't think you would understand, so I prefer not explaining to you. Uh, well, that's it for today. I hope you uh, enjoyed my lesson, and uh, next time I'll meet you with new exciting stuff. Um, well, cheers. Oh, and uh, by the way, I'm the best guitarist in the world. Yeah. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Oh, I rock! Oh, oh, it's so time! Is Chris who you think he is? Is Chris a little retarded? Hey, close your mouth, Magot. Chris is cool. Yeah, well, but he seems a little strange, eh? Close your mouth, Magot. Yeah, okay. No. What kind of lesson would that be? That lesson would suck. So uh, I'm just gonna, you know, take off my uh, glasses. Uh, oops, and uh, I'm gonna play like this instead. You ready? Okay, so let's get started. This solo was taken from a lesson I did for GMC uh, in order to celebrate lesson number thousand at our site. Uh, and it features lots of, you know, swingy phrasing, which hopefully you're gonna find cool, as well as some shreddy licks. The song starts out uh, on the B7 chord. And uh, we're playing some standard stuff out of uh, the B minor pentatonic box. Nothing too fancy in there. If you're unsure about the slides, uh, it's just a matter of doing this kind of thing fast. Pick one note, move your hand upwards and then downwards. Now this next lick is gonna be a cool illustration of the kind of phrasing technique we're using throughout the whole solo. Um, and it's, it, what I'm doing in the solo is, instead of playing you know, straight notes like this, like that, uh, we're gonna play them the swingy way. Slowly that would be... So instead of playing the kind of normal way, we're going to play it. And that is achieved through uh, the, the swingy kind of uh, phrasing and also through 
um, I think I'm uh, dampening the notes. So w what's happening is I'm kind of letting go of the string with a ring finger to deaden the note. Like that. Now if you combine that with some, uh, you know, artificial harmonic screams, which, which are produced with, uh, by slightly touching the string with a thumb right after picking, uh, as well as some raking, which I'm also doing throughout this solo, and that's, rakes are basically a, um, a sweep, but we're doing it on damp notes. So if you place your hand, you know, anywhere on the fretboard and and sweep, you know, that's gonna be a rake. Now the reason I'm doing that is because when I started out, I uh, had problems finding the right string with the pick. So instead of you know, you know, not hitting the wrong string or whatever, I raked in order to find the right string. So. Oh, there was my note! <laughs> now, uh, and that technique has sort of stuck with me, even though, I, as I was saying, when I started out, I did it because I, I was clueless on how to do things. And now I kept it with me because I think it sounds cool. And you know, lots of guitarists do that. Uh, you know, prime example is Stevie Ray Vaughan with his... Oops, <laughs> I shouldn't play those kind of things. Uh, but, um, anyway, so what I'm doing with those three things in mind, swing your phrasing, artificial harmonics, and raking. Oh, and fourth thing, I'm also hitting the strings really hard as soon as I get the chance. If I'm in the middle of a you know, fast picking run, I won't be able to you know, hit the guitar that hard. But if I'm doing something slower, then I'm hitting the guitar body real hard, and that causes you know the whole system to vibrate, and uh, it's probably pretty bad for the guitar, but it sounds cool, so <laughs> that's what I'm doing. Now, keeping these four things in mind, let's go ahead. Something like that. Uh, now, that's a good illustration of the licks I'm playing throughout the whole solo. Starting with a rake. Constantly hitting very hard. And there I'm hitting hard and I'm trying to get that artificial harmonic scream as well. second lick over an A5 chord. Now the progression moves to G5 and we're playing a little longer but still swingy kind of lick. To E minor, and we're gonna play yet a swingy lick, which ends on uh, on some bending to wrap things up. about some cool shreddy licks. Uh, this pattern I'm using now for that kind of thing is uh, I guess a Paul, Gil Paul Gilbert kind of pattern. Uh, now I I'm playing it on one single string which makes it a little bit of uh, easier. 